Hello, it's Daniel Malone. Welcome to Android Studio 4.0, part seven. In the last part, we created this uh, screen where you click on here, uses navigation components to pass an ID to this screen. So we have Tofu Scramble there, and here we have vegan breakfast platter. Now really quickly, let's modify this screen to actually add uh, image there. So we'll add maybe that image. Um, let's look for a layout. I'm gonna collapse everything. Um, let's just close everything. That's what I like to start workspace out with. You can clear it like that. So that for Android, we've seen before. Resources, no, nope, not that. Resources, layout. Um, I'll go ahead and I think it is a single restaurant row. And um, let's uh, do some good practice. Let's actually go ahead and refactor this. Um, a number of ways you can refactor this. Um, easiest uh, is might be to, and you can't just do rename, I don't think, anymore. Uh, you just go to refactor and rename a keyboard shortcut, or you just do uh, control T on Mac, rename. And we'll call this, um, call this, ooh, actually that's, that's, not, that's not even the screen you want, apologies product info, this is the one we want. Um, actually, that's actually a good name. We'll rename that in the next video. Uh, make mistakes all the time. Okay, let's add an image here. Let's go to image view, go ahead and drag that in. Um, and we'll just set it for, um, actually do this, let's set it for, and there's some uh, icons in here set for us. So let's set it for, um, let's not do that. I'm just gonna pick something random here. Um, just so we have an image there. Cool. And I don't like that. Take that back. Um, what do I do? Image. This is a bad video. We'll go ahead and go with uh, avatars. Okay. Some videos are just bad. I've never not published one. Actually, there's one that audio messed up. Okay, so we have our image here. I'm going to go ahead and, and because we're using constraint layout, we need to actually rearrange some stuff. Um, and if we look back at here, um, Let's see, I kind of want the image maybe at the top, kind of like Google Maps or something. So I'm just going to you know, try to push that up there, but it's on top of there. So I'm going to click on that. And there's that constraint there. I think we can just option click, uh, control click. What is it? Command click maybe. I don't usually use this. Command click gets rid of that. Um, now let's go ahead and click drag and we'll do it to right there. And let's go ahead and put some space in there. We'll do 24, that looks good. Uh, this image, we'll go ahead and use constraint layouts. Um, set it just like we've seen. Did that actually work? Gonna constraint that to the top, yep, did. Uh, do that there, and we have our image there, cool. Um, we're gonna go ahead and select that, and we actually want the uh, mode to be different, so we can kind of toggle that like we've seen before. Again, different styles. We'll go ahead and do that style, that's good. Now there's also a crop type we can do, or scale type, actually. And we can go ahead and set that for actually, um, whatever we set for the other one, center crop, I think is what we used. Um, so the image actually goes up above there, but we wanna fill all of this space, so we use that. Gonna go ahead and save it, run it. And let's go ahead and see uh, if we can see this image. Um, and wait a second for Android Studio to run. And by the way, these videos are now on 4K, so um, I know a lot of my list viewers are international, so hopefully download doesn't take too long. I'm sure it gets scaled depending upon your internet connection. And so let's go ahead and click on here, and we actually don't see the image. And the reason is, is because when you actually added the avatar, and if we go into maybe here, images at the bottom, we have our tools there. If we change that to Android, that would give us a real image, but I'm not sure we can use these sample um, there. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the design. Let's actually add an image in here. Um, let's set the, I don't usually use this. What is it, source, oh, damn it. There's always other way of doing it. Um, I think I messed this up before. So that. I think it might be so What we can always do is we can always change it to something else. We'll go into split mode. We'll go ahead and change that to Android. I think there's actually a new one I feel like I should know that. Um, we'll get rid of that. And then inside of here, we can actually do, instead of tools, we can do drawable. And then we can just set something. 
We'll set it for um, fresh salad. Cool. We don't get any hints there. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to design mode. And we see our image there. Um, and that's all good. Is that the one we have here? Let me check just a second. Yes, it is. Cool. Okay. Um, actually, I want to do something. <laughs> Terrible video. Let's go ahead and redo this. Let's, we can make it whatever we want. We'll make it highly rated. We'll just put that in there um, and we will run it to see this. And then I'm going to show you how we can actually display different images for each row. Um, there we go. Now we want to actually add an image to each data source. I think we have that under uh, Java example. We can rename that the same as well. The package is actually another way. We'll go to um, product information fragment. We can um, rename that, but it's good for now. And what we'll do is we will go ahead and um, we will go ahead and um, actually it's not in there. Sorry, it's in data food item, and this is where we have our data. So we're gonna add one more field here, just like we use this in other places. Um, val image, uh, we'll call it photo actually, photo. And what is this gonna be? We could make it a string, but actually, if you're gonna reference an image inside of here, it actually has to be um, a drawable or an int, because that's what it is. If you are pulling from an API like Firebase or something in the server in the future. You do photo URL, uh, change that to a string, and that would be like, you know, or whatever, and um, that's good for now. But we're doing just photo, so let's do int. And this is gonna blow everything up. So if I try to run this, it won't even run. Um, we can see where this is used, command click. We'll just go inside of, um, uh, we'll do rest product data is where it's being used. So product data and sure enough, uh, we get the red underline, doesn't work. Um, it's asking us if we do command P for an image. For, um, oh yeah, we can do it that way. Yeah, we sorted it differently. What do we have? We have highly rated. So that's the last one. Let's actually go ahead and change the order of this and we'll get to that in a second or in another future video. But basically um, the last, Think of the last one as optional. There are actually other ways to use it where you can just do food item, and then you can actually specify, um, like uh, say I wanna do photo, I can just specify photo equals, so then do it there. Um, in this case, I think it's fine. Um, we'll get to that later. Uh, delete that line, go to the end of here, delete that. We have this going, now we change the order. So let's go ahead and put a comma on photo, and um, let's go ahead and put some um, r.drawable dot, uh, then we have actually um, fresh so we need to import that, so we see the red there, click on there, do alt enter, um, that'll import it now we have access to fresh salad, and we should, we do so that works, that is an integer, and if we command click we can see it is uh, Java int. But instead of specifying that for each one, I wanna do is I should turn my ringer off. I am going to, um, what was that? I'm going to go ahead and just put it inside of the default food item. So all of them have a default image, and we'll do equals that. We have an extra comma, get rid of that. And um, you notice here, Photo, yeah, we can fix that. Um, okay, here we need to import it. So again, Alt Enter, that'll import it into there. Um, so what's going on here is we have, um, that is optional, we're, we're specifying a default. This is also optional because we have a default, but in one case we actually have the order is messed up. So it looks like we have a photo is true, which doesn't work. Um, what we can always do is we can uh, cheat a little bit. We'll actually, I think this will actually work. We can specify uh, this image just for there. We're gonna need to import that or it already is. Um, we actually have it in one more place. Um, put it there, there we go. It's gonna format it for us. We can make that 
what is that inline variable? Yeah, we can, oh, we didn't do that in a previous video. So instead of actually um, creating a variable and then returning it, we can actually just, um, we can return, don't need to make the list of a variable, we'll just return that. There we return our list of, and um, this should all work. I'm gonna go ahead and run it. And then last but not least, we actually need to use the image that is inside of our um, food item. Click on there, so we're not using it. And in just a second, you'll see how we can actually, for each one of these items, we can specify a different image. So this could be um, r.drawable.smoothie. Uh, um, um, this one could be, you know, you get the idea, r.drawable. Um, hmm, uh, what's a good food? Baked potato. Okay, so it can be whatever you want. Um, we won't do that right now, obviously, for the sake of time. Um, so there we go. Let's go ahead and actually use the image there. Um, ooh, and so, yeah, to set the image. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. To set it programmatically, because um, we could set it in XML, but we don't want to hard code it in there. Let's go ahead and set it programmatically. Um, okay. So we have our product data, and this video is 11 minutes. Um, we'll go ahead and, yeah, go here. Um, let's go to design mode, and we have an ID here. Let's give it an ID of main photo. Giving long names again. Don't ask, yes, and we can see that no errors are here, and that's good. Uh, design mode is usually good for most things. Um, save it, and now if we go inside of product information fragment, remember this, we can do the same thing to, um, oh, we should name it, yeah, we should name it, we should keep it consistent. So product, we should call this um, product photo main, because we might have a secondary one. Okay, we'll do product photo main, uh, then we have a dot. Now before we have a dot, text equals, so we can do, we should try doing dot text. Uh, it doesn't exactly work. I don't think there even is a text. So it could be text alignment and stuff, but there isn't that. What we're trying to do is source, but I don't think there's source. It's like set drawable. And instead of here, we have to specify, I think there's a better way to do this. I'm sorry, should have looked this up before. Uh, set drawable, I think this will work. We can just pass in a, no, it's passing a drawable. Um, so yeah. So drawable I think we can actually do this where it takes actually I'll Google the best way to do it and we'll do it in the next video. Or you could Google it. Whenever like say we're trying to set an image, um normally we can just go inside of here and set its um and set its source. But if you want to actually do it in Kotlin, it's called doing it programmatically and I'm not sure I'm doing it the best way, so I just want to confirm before I continue. But normally you just type your ID, you do dot source, and then say I don't know how to do this, I can just Google something like, you know, Android set image view programmatically, it auto-populates, I'm doing it on a different screen. And we'll do, just look for the latest one, and I can find it really quick, I bet. The best way to do it is also the image, set background, source. Yep, we'll do that. Well, technically in it. Um, Sorry, I should have done this before. Um, yeah, we can go ahead and do it this way, yeah. So a couple of things. So we need, what we do need is um, set image drawable. So we already know that we have our product variable here. So product, um, product. so I could just put products dot, you might think we can put uh, the photo and we put that in there and you'll notice we get a red underline. So you can see the different, the type is different. What we need is a drawable, but it found an int. So remember, if we put our mouse over there, we can see that's an int, but um, needs a drawable, which means if you put your mouse over there, it needs a drawable. So the best way to do it, I think in 2020, I think it kind of changed a couple years ago, but the best way to do it, I think, is to do um, what we're gonna need is act I think we can use it with the activity, but we'll just try this. Um, we'll, we'll just try something together, and if you don't know, just we can figure it out together, or in the next video. So let's do, 
You can always do um, context, I'm just looking it up, compat, uh, dot, is that, what is that from? Context. Index, cool. So let's go ahead and whenever you don't know what to do, you can type a class name. Sometimes you can, if you don't know what to do, you can do that and then put a dot. But in this case, what we wanna do is it's kind of like a special class. We just put the dot and we see all these methods we can do. And some of these might be helpful for some stuff. So we can like start an activity. We are actually using nav components on uh, navigation components. We don't need that. Uh, so what all that navigation stuff is. Um, we can get system services, do all kinds of stuff. But the one we want is, uh, is there not a set drawable? Oh, oh, there. oh, sorry, get drawable. So we're actually getting the drawable and we're setting it with the drawable there. So get drawable. And actually, I'm going to go back a little bit. If you don't know what one you need, we can see what get drawable takes. It takes a context of type context and it takes an int. So look at the int there. The int is actually the same int data type that is right there. So we have an int there. That'll work. It's the same data type. So we can actually do this. So if we put our mouse in there, we can do command P to see what it takes, a context and an int. So let's just try something. Normally we can put a context of, you know, this, and let's get our ID. Let's do product dot uh, photo, whatever it was called. We're getting an error there. And this would probably work on an activity or whatever, but we're actually inside of a fragment. And I think what we can do is we can do, we can, uh, we can force it, I don't wanna do that. Require activity, um, we're inside of on view created. We should have it there. We'll go ahead and do require activity. Another thing we could do is we could um, force it, which is not a best practice. So the difference is, it also returns. What does that return? That returns, uh, we can see what it returns. Activity will do, or activity, and that returns fragment activity. Did this work, damn it. Well, we can go ahead and run it and see. And um, if it crashes, we can always go to log cat to figure it out that way. We're inside of a fragment. Is it context or let's see. Let's see if it crashes, click on there. It doesn't crash, it actually gets it. Okay, cool. Let's go to the bottom. We have, um, oh, I love Veganom. I might go there today. And you can see this video is getting long at 17 minutes. We have our image there. Now, if we had another image, what we can actually do is um, let's go ahead and change it up. Let's go to food item product data actually, and let's make um, let's make our tofu. Let's call this um, smile face, and we'll actually make this the smile we had earlier, or whatever it was called. What was it called? Oh, it's from the Android actually. So Android dot r dot drawable dot smile, or what, what was it called dot uh, I'll make it a, this is, I think this is really old, I think. Yeah, it's really old, but this will at least, um, normally just uh, download it from an open source um, licensing free a website or buy it royalty free online. Uh, there are lots of open source images. Uh, paste it inside of Drawables like we did before, and then we can get rid of the Android and just do it that way. Okay, so we have our smile face. Let's call this, uh, let's actually call the name of this. Let's call it, um, Start, go ahead and run that. And for this, that particular food item or whatever we're calling it, dish, it should have a different image. So all those are the same uh, as is. And we go to the bottom, we go to button, oh, we didn't update it there. We go to button star and there's their star there. So this could be a dish of, you know, the fruit salad. This could be um, something else. Um, we didn't fix this. This video is getting long. I'm gonna stop it, but you get the point. Um, yeah, not my greatest video. Um, yep, see you in the next video. Uh, I'm gonna co keep continue, continue making these now in 4K. Uh, follow me on Twitter at uh, twitter.com slash Daniel Malone. Uh, might be more active on there. Um, see you later. See you in the next part, bye.